Hey everybody, Colnar here. Welcome back to more NASCAR Thunder 2003. In the last episode, I sucked. I sucked, and I don't know how. But anyways, in this episode, we're going to Atlanta Motor Speedway and racing in the MBNA America 500. So, let's pray to God that I do better in this race. If I don't, there's going to be some... Heck to pay. Because let me tell you guys, being ninth in points is not good. It's not a good feeling. I like being in first. <laughs> if I don't finish first, I'm going to be sad. Very, very sad. I'm down by 87 points. That's how sad I am. So anyways. Let us go and... Uh, race at Atlanta and hopefully I win hopefully MRN welcomes you to Hampton Georgia site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race the MBNA America 500 this place has it all they even have a nine-story office and condominium complex right here at the track and there's always great racing to go along with the amenities. Isn't that right, Barney? NASCAR doesn't use restrictor plates for this track, which is actually why it's one of the fastest speedways in the Winston Cup Series. We may see some speeds hit 200 miles an hour just before they dive off into these corners. Ricky Rudd will try to use this race to gain a couple spots in the points. You know, all these guys are very happy with their top 10 season so far. Hopefully they can mount a charge that will pick them up some more points on the leaders. How about the consistency shown by Ricky Craven? Yeah, and I'm sure he's in for another great ride. Of course, what else is new? When we're at these tracks, he always seems to have a great race. The McDonald's car will go for yet another top 10 finish at a speedway in this one. You know, I watched him in practice, and that car just looks good. Sometimes you can just tell by watching the car on the track who's going to be fast on race day without even looking at the speed charts. I hope those announcers are speaking the truth because I really need a win here. They say I'm looking good, but <laughs> past few races I finished second, second, and then 40th. So let's go. 32 laps of racing. Green flag, we're racing at Atlanta. Ooh, I got into Steve Park. That was a cool one. Well, kind of cool. Oh, and there's Tony Stewart. And I just passed him. There's Shane Hall in the 63. He gets... Oh, my goodness. He got into Bobby Labonte and almost flipped. And Bobby Labonte's still on, you know, pace speed. Shocking. Okay, so three and a half seconds behind the leader after lap two. That's pretty good. And I see the rest of the pack. So that means I'm definitely catching up. Hmm, 31.252. That's a pretty quick lap. I want to make it to 28 seconds, though. Top 20. Ooh, I got into Junior. That's gonna kill some speed. 
Wait, is Jamie McMurray trying to be in the top ten? That's not going to happen. In fact, I'm going low. Bump him out of the way. Make him lose a few spots. Possibly. digging. I'm trying to dig my way out of a hole. Here's Dale Jarrett. You guys remembered when I wrecked him in the Daytona 500? Oh wait, no, that wasn't the Daytona 500. That was in the Subway 400 at North Carolina. Three seconds on me, and I'm already in the top five, so, so far, Atlanta's been a little nice to me. Oh boy, oh, Robbie Gordon, why you do that? So I think that silver, that gray car over there, I think that's Sterling Marlin, because I know that gray and silver car any, anywhere. Ugh, excuse me. I had a little bit of a belch. I had dinner before this recording. I also had a little bit of time to calm myself and collect my thoughts. And I started thinking, what if I actually lose the championship? And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a two-time and defending champion in NASCAR Thunder like the NASCAR series. I've won NASCAR 2001. I won Na NASCAR Thunder 2002. What if I don't win this one? And then all of a sudden these things in my head just spinning around and stuff. Also, another fun fact. Um, if I win a race, any race in particular, I get a trip to the All-Star Race, and yes, the All-Star Race is in this game, and I will show you. Basically, the All-Star Race in this game is like a, is a doubleheader at Charlotte. Just on different weekends. And I'm about to pass Sterling Marlin for fourth, and I do it. Alright. 22 laps to go. And I gotta catch up to Ricky Rudd and Jeff Burton. Remember how I said I was gonna wreck Jeff Burton any chance I can? Well, this is it. This is my opportunity. I believe Jeff Gordon is in the lead, so... That's kinda... That's kinda cool. All right, I'm almost up to Ricky Rudd. Man, this controller is really, really frustrating. Maybe I should go back to using my old PlayStation controller. My old PlayStation 2 controller. Because the red translucent one is not working out for me. That's why I'm so loose. Going into the corners and just coming off the corners. About to pass Ricky Rudd for third. Stay down there. Stay down there. Thank you. Yeah, after I'm done with this recording, I gotta change my controller. It's just because it's terrible. Oh my god, I'm in the wall. Stupid Ricky Rudd, get your car out of here. Now 
I gotta catch all the way up to Jeff Burton again. Sterling Marlins caught up again. I'm trying, my car is slow. I need a caution. That's why I need the most. Oh, whoa! Sterling Marlin just got into me. I know that. I need a caution. I really need a caution. A caution would just help me in all sorts of stuff. Either I gotta cause one or the computer has to cause one. And I'm in the grass now. This is great. Oh god, now my car's all... Be careful out there. Great, and some drivers caught back up. Ow. Uh, I hate to use Dale Jarrett as a caution. Ooh, Shane Hall just blew up an engine. Um, my engine blew. That's gonna bring out a caution. Not after the caution. I'm not gonna be losing ground. All right. No, I don't want to pit under caution. That would be stupid. Okay, sums up with my car. What is going on?
Got into Ricky Run a little. Five laps to go, and the leaders are all just running away. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Come on, buddy, push it. We can pick up some more spots. Yeah, I don't think we can pick up any more spots because, you know, the drivers are driving out, out of whack and I just can't get these guys off my freaking butt. I need a new controller. This is not working out for me. My car is loose. I can't drive as I usually drive. I need to make a controller switch after this. And oh, I just crashed in the wall and oh boy. Yep, that's a caution. And I'm in ninth. Went all the way from fifth to ninth. And man, my car is not looking so good. And that's the race. The race is going to end under caution. Lear took the white flag. Oh, man. They just created a huge backup. Yeah, that's exactly how I thought that was going to end. Under caution. Jeff Gordon wins the race. And I finish in ninth. We usually have more cautions than that, don't we? Well, I can assure you all those guys who finished in the back would like to have seen more cautions. Gives them a chance to make adjustments without the penalty of going a lap down. They just didn't have that luxury this time. The 100 car didn't finish where he had hoped, due in part to the damage on his car, I'm sure. Well, I say it over and over again. Take care of your car, it'll take care of you. And guess what? When you don't, it can get ugly. Thanks for joining us. For Barney Hall and the rest of us here at EA Sports at MRN, we'll see you next time. Well, I didn't win again. I did finish in the top ten, so that's okay. I guess. I mean, I'm not mad. I mean, I, I could have done better, but man. This controller... I need, I need to switch it out. And I got a new best lap. Cool. So, Jeff Gordon wins the race, Jeff Burton finishes second, Sterling Marlin third, Dale Jarrett fourth, Tony Stewart fifth, Jimmy Johnson sixth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. seventh, Ryan Newman eighth, I finish ninth, and Jeremy Mayfield finishes tenth. Cool. Now, time to check on the standings. 
Might as well save the data. And now I will check the standing. So I'm currently in seventh. I went up two spots. And Jeff Burton is currently in first with 630 points. Uh, Rusty Wallace is in second. Dale Earnhardt Jr. third. Jeff Gordon fourth. Sterling Marlin fifth. Mark Martin sixth. I'm in seventh. Ryan Newman is. 8th, Ricky Rudd is ninth, and Tony Stewart's in 10th. So, yeah. And I got all charged up and fast pace, but I did not win Rookie of the Race. Which sucks. I am still leading the Rookie of the Year by only one point. Still leading Rookie of the Year, but only by one point. That is insane. Ford is still winning the Manufacturer's Championship, but Dodge is catching up. Wow. Shocking. And Jeff Gordon is your new lap champion. Did he actually lead all 32 laps? I'm... Mm, I'm angry. I didn't get to wreck Jeff Burton. That makes me even angrier. Ugh. Well... I'm going to have to end it here so I can get a new controller. So, I would like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NASCAR Thunder 2003. If you enjoyed it, smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NASCAR Thunder 2003. When we go to, Car well, to Darlington to race in the Carolina Dodge Steelers 400. So, yeah. Well, I'll see you guys later.